What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I haven't done like a sit down makeup video in a really long time and that's kind of like why I started my YouTube channel and like the fundamental reason why I started creating videos. So I really miss it and the other weekend, it was last weekend, I put up an Instagram picture of a kind of fun easy makeup look that I did for Easter and then one that I did on my sister Amber. So I wanted to show you guys how I did that, especially since we're in quarantine isolation. It's kind of a fun activity, I find, and to just try new things and you know you can always take it off. Unfortunately, no one can see you, but also that's like the benefit if you like mess up or do something really wild and crazy. So um, yeah, I've just been taking this time of self-isolation to learn new skills and just have fun with life. I guess. I apologize. My camera just said that it was running out of storage, so I just had to quickly delete a bunch of videos. Anyway, I would love to know what you guys are keeping up to during this time of quarantine slash self-isolation, so comment below what you were doing, how you're staying busy and happy, and yeah, I just think it's a great time to look at everything in your life, whether that's like physically or, you know, mentally, and just really see and perfect the things that you do every day. So anyway, I'm gonna do this first. Don't forget to like this video down below if you do, subscribe if you're not, and yeah, hopefully I'll be able to put out more content and just get a bit creative with what I put out there. I'm trying to just, you know, live my best life and help you guys find whatever inspires or motivates you as well. So also comment below what you'd like to see from me in the future. That way you can watch the whole video. So let's get into it. I'm going to pull my hair back because if you've been watching my videos, you will know I cannot do my makeup with my hair down. It just does not serve me. And this crew neck is so cute. It's from Lulu's. An athleisure haul will be coming your way very soon. Probably, hopefully, the next video on my channel. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to do foundation really quickly. I'm just using the IT... The IT, the It Cosmetics <laughs> CC Serum. I use the shade Fair Light. I'm almost out of this, but luckily I have some more. I literally just put one pump in the back of my hand and I mix it with Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops. Just like half a pump of that because it is very glowy dewy. And I don't want to be like radiating, but this is a matte finish. They have also come out with a glowy version of this. So I just didn't get that because it wasn't out when I had gotten that. Now I will. But also you can use the dew drops only on the places that you want to highlight. But I'm just going to mix it in. So literally just taking my Sephora Flawless Airbrush number 56. Mixing that back in my hand and placing it where I need to. And I definitely like to put foundation on my lids as well. And then anything extra, I always put on my red rosy cheeks. And then dragging it down the neck. Next I'm just going to set my face using the Becca Cosmetics Be A Light Palette. I don't know if this is still being sold. but. I'll try to link something down below that's similar at least. And I'm just going to take a brush. This is the Pro Mini Airbrush Sephora uh, number 55 and a half. I assume that 55 is just like the bigger version. I'm just going to take some powder and just set. Next, I'm going to take Sephora small contour brush does not have a number and I'm literally going to dab the blush and just do a little bit of blush on my cheeks don't usually use blush because I already have red cheeks but this is like a little glowy so I like it and a little bit across the nose because we always get sun there so it's uh, it makes the makeup look a little bit more natural and then Pro Contour, Sephora number 79. Woo! What the heck? <laughs> Take that brush without dropping it. And I'm gonna go into the bronzing shade. What I like to do 
is I like to squeeze the brush so it's like thinner and then go in and then tap it off a little bit and then I like to place it a little bit above your collarbone your collarbone your cheekbone oh my god it's been a minute since I've done one of these this is tragic so use that line so it's a bit precise of a line then stop holding it so it opens up and then I'm going to blend and buff it out looking a little better a little glowy see this is what I'm talking about little glowier than before things are Honestly, I'm not gonna add any highlighter. Shocking, I know, but look it. I don't need to like See that highlight that is just because of the do you do drops that I blended into My foundation and again if you wanted to intensify it and I usually just put a little bit on my finger And then we just blot it um, before you put always do your liquids and then your powders um, So before I had set my face I would have done that if I wanted to um, or again, you could do a little inner corner. You can do down the bridge of your nose, forehead, depending on what your vibe is. Wherever you like to highlight, you could have highlighted with it in addition to adding it to your matte foundation. Next, the fun part, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes. Okay, so I'm even though I did kind of roughly set my eyes, I'm just going to make sure that they are all the same color. Um, so I'm going to take a bit bigger eyeshadow brush. This is blending shadow. It doesn't say anything, but it's a bit bigger. I'm just going to go in with a very neutral color. And again, just make sure that that is set so that my eyelid is like a fresh canvas. Then I'm trying to remember what I did. I do want to still contour my eye out. So I am going to use a very, this is also the Tarte Clay Play palette. Again, I will link something similar. This is a little old. Um, I use the shade Sand, very neutral color first. And now I'm gonna go into my most used shade Journey, which is a very, it's, it's a very subtle, contour color so for me it stands out but if I was super tan it would be very subtle so I just like to use that and I am going to be using pro Sephora pro number 38 crease brush and I'm still going to contour out my eye just to add some dimension <laughs> So again, not the focal point, but you can see where my eyelid is versus where like, you know, my brow bone is and things like that's dimension. We got dimension. Next, I'm taking the Kylie palette. I think this is the Stormy palette, probably. I think it is. Um, and I'm going to go into that pastel light blue shade. Yes. Yes, I am. The key to this look is MAC fix plus spray i don't know if any other sprays work as well as this i do know that it is worth the hype from my personal experience and hearing you know makeup artists and non-makeup artists makeup artists rave about the fact that it brings out pigment in things like no other spray so it's worth the investment if you're going to do something like this and if you care about makeup and you want to enhance any pigment in any shades you're using so especially for this look I do not want this to be subtle because it's already gonna be a subtle line. So I want that subtle line to be bold because otherwise I might as well just wear regular eyeliner. So anyway, I'm going to take a smudge brush. So again, it's like an eyeliner brush, it's really narrow. My Mac Fix Plus. I forget if I, I think I packed it on first. So some, powders do better if you pack it on then spray and then apply versus spray pack it on apply i'm almost certain that i i figured this out when i did it to my sister last weekend but i already forget so that's good 
Um, so I'm just gonna try. So literally, I'm going to literally dab, 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 pack it on my brush. It's going everywhere, so I'm gonna put it back down. But you don't want fallout. So I'm still going to tap it off. Do not blow on your brush, please, especially if since coronavirus is going around, do not blow on your brush and then put it on your eye. Tap, let's tap, let's practice tapping. No bacteria. Then I'm going to spray, not on myself. And I kind of just like wave it around. I don't know, it's like bippity boppity boo. Then, you can get really up close and personal here. I'm going to apply it like eyeliner. I hope this works. I haven't done it on myself yet, so this might go horribly wrong. Not too bad, not too bad. All okay. right, now the other eye. <laughs> look, I actually look like um, Hunger Games. Yeah, this is this is a Hunger Games look. The Hunger Games is kind of going on around us, so that's fitting. Save this, save this look for Halloween. If you're not as bold as I am to wear it around my house <laughs> where no one could see me. <laughs> I'm gonna do another layer. Another layer. Definitely worth doing the second layer. Okay, so this is what we look like. If you're like scared, I also, you can totally just get like an eyeliner that is this color, but I'm utilizing the fact that I have eyeshadow. I'm also just going to take um, a concealer brush and go into the matching glitter shade and just add that into the inner corner of my eye for a little highlight. <laughs> I look so crazy right now is because also the fallout has gone onto my eyelashes so my eyelashes are like white so let me put on some mascara and I'll show you how much of a difference mascara makes boom <laughs> obviously the mascara just really opens up your eyes and also like covers the eyeliner so it's not quite as crazy but like you look close and you're like oh you have you have like light eyeliner like that's crazy so yeah that's my trick. This is my look. I'm going to finish this off with a lip, the shade Todd Cranes from Kylie Cosmetics. And this is a velvet shade, so I really like it. And it's also just like the crease color. It's not really... It's like a very subtle nude where it's not overly warm, but also not overly cool. So it's a really great in-between color. So that's why it, it works, I think. Um, anyway, this is my finished look. Again, I'll try to like get like, this is like super awkward for me, like getting really close to the camera, but just so you guys can see what it looks like from kind of like all angles. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know again what you'd like to see from me in the future. See you later. Bye.